Question seven. So we have two root 24 plus three root six plus the root of 54. And we want to simplify this as much as possible. Let me start with the 24. 24 divided by two is 12, divided by two is six, divided by two is three. So we want to pick the numbers that are repeating in pairs because it's the square root. So two times two is two squared. And then we are left with two times three, which is just six. So we just broke down 24 into two squared times six. Now we have three times root six. Six, we know that it's just two times three. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. There's nothing we can really do with the root of six. What about 54? Yes, we can break it down. 54 divided by two is 27. Divided by three is nine. Divided by three is three. Can we pair numbers together? Yes, we can. How about the three and the three? You get three squared times. Oh, look at this. Six again. Two times three, six. Now what can we do? Well, I can break the roots down. So this would be two times the square root of two squared times the square root of six. That's the property of radicals. Over here, we'll do the same thing. We get the square root of three squared times the square root of six. Now, we can start canceling things out. The square root of two squared, I can cancel out the square with the root and I get two times two times the root of six. Two times two is four, so I get four root six plus three root six. And then over here, the square root of three squared is just three. So we get three times the square root of six, just like over here, of course. Now we can just combine like terms. And they're all like terms, because they're all multiplying. All these numbers are multiplying the square root of six. So four plus three is seven plus three is 10. So we get 10 times the square root of six. So the answer is B. That's it.